Hey, how sick was that? Just pulled up on that little spot of fish. Matt and I cast it in there. We both got one. End of the day stuff here on the way home. <laughs> Vinny put us on the spot. Yeah! Always Fourth getting... quarter. <laughs> We're 10 miles from Newport Harbor. 10 miles. Came up on a small little foamer. There you go. We've seen them all day. Yeah, we've seen them all day. Big ones, little ones. Right here you go. That's it right there. Pulling on them. We got them on poppers. So they were uh, they were boiling up on, on some bait. And we threw, the, we threw the gear right in there and it was pretty instant, so pretty sick. Took all day for that. Here we are, we just came across a foamer 10 miles from Newport Harbor. Matt's on one. And then we got Aff on one. Yeah. Working in the back here. Working in the back. We got a double. Go, go over, Matt. There. Yeah, go over. There you go. Yeah. Matt straight up and down. Nice sundown. And we looked at a lot of foamers earlier. And of course, fourth quarter. One time. Take, yeah. What's that, Al? Taking our time. We're working hard for these ones all day long. <laughs> Al was actually napping and then. Uh, oh, yeah. He's ready to roll. Got him on the bass rod here. He's going to dolphin. Waking up a little bit. Am mine too. <laughs> Didn't I just get all that line back? These are real manageable fish though. Yeah. I think I should pull on these. <laughs> I'm on my knees right now. Pull on a little bit here. Matt, get over, get over, Matt. Oh, he just took a... Whoa! Under. Under, yeah, there you go. Good job, guys. Afrin's just got pissed. I know, mine did too. Here, I just, I just got all that line back. Careful. They waited all day for this. Look at how happy they are. <laughs> Afrin's is going to Pedro. Yeah. Matt's is going to Newport. Complete opposite sides. What leader do you have, Matt? Uh, 80. 80 psycho? Yeah. So you feel a jack them. Yours is up and down. Yeah. Afrin's, took, Afrin's took a run. Okay, we'll come back in a few minutes. Get it. Oh! 
Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. <laughs> Watch your toes. Watch your toes. Oh, yeah. yeah. He gone. <laughs> Matt's is a fucking butterball, dude. <laughs> dude, Matt, yours, yours is big. It's bigger. <laughs> he got it on the right gear, though. Yeah. All right. He gone. It's gonna get bloody, right? Wow, he's already got one in the brain, so. Okay, so this is the end result of that whole melee the boys were on here. This is what we end up with here, guys. A couple of bluefin, all right? There we go. Now I got to take some photos. I want to go over that gear that we use to catch these tuna right now. And Matt was geared up perfectly for these tuna with his setup. Matt was using a Pin Fathom 2 25N SD and that was loaded with 80 pound Berkeley braided line. And he was using AFCO Psycho fluorocarbon leader line in 80 pound test. And his rod was a Pin Carnage 3 8 foot extra heavy rated 20 to 40 pound. And the popper he used was a clear choice popper in Ghost 150 size. And for my setup, it was a little bit more questionable. Desperate times called for desperate matters. And I sized down quite a bit on my rod and reel and my popper. I was using a Tranx 400 high gear. I had that spooled up with 65 pound Power Pro braided line with an Aftco Psycho fluorocarbon leader at 60 pound. And the rod I was using was one of my Calico Bass rods. It's a custom wrapped Phoenix 800H USB-C. And with that C on the end, it's a little bit more parabolic, a slightly more forgiving while fighting these tuna, but I was able to get them in without an issue. And the popper I chose was definitely questionable. It was a four inch Yozuri floating popper. The hardware was the big question mark for the lure as I did not change out the split ring and hooks. And you can see from the bait, it got pretty tore up. I ended up straightening out one of the hooks and we actually broke one of the hooks while removing it from the fish. I was also using the Kicker brand fishing clips at 125 pound breaking strength. Big shout out to AFCO for that psycho fluorocarbon leader. It's extremely abrasion resistant. And when fishing those lures, you're able to fish a little bit heavier line. And that heavy line paid off as we made pretty quick work of those tuna. Again, big shout out to AFCO for keeping us dry. We got pretty blown up out there with that wind and wave and water coming over the boat. So we were all rocking the AFCO bibs, AFCO sun shirts, and the AFCO jackets. Big thanks to AFCO and all the support that you give the channel and the fishermen out there. If you guys want to book a trip with Captain Benny Florentino, I'm going to leave his information in the description below. His service is called Coastal Charters and he specializes in inshore and island fishing. If you have an opportunity and you want to catch some of these tuna, some yellowtail or calico bass, give him a shout. Benny is an experienced waterman an accomplished tournament angler, and he's had over 25 years of water experience. Give him a shout. 
if you want to have an amazing adventure and just a really fun time overall. I want to thank you guys for all the support you're giving Warbaits and this channel. We're growing and it's because of you. Hopefully you enjoyed this tuna adventure. It's a small glimpse out of a long day, but it's definitely something I wanted to share with you guys. It's late summer here in Southern California. The fish are biting. So get out there, go fishing and hook that giant.